The controversy over the shooting death of an unarmed teenager by a neighborhood watch volunteer moved to Washington today. Democrats in the House held a forum on racial profiling in the wake of the death of Trayvon Martin in Florida. Martin's parents were there. Trayvon was our son, but Trayvon is your son. Um, right. A lot of people can relate to our situation, um, and it breaks their heart just like it breaks mine. Martin was shot by George Zimmerman, who has been under investigation but not charged in the case. This is one of those stories that develops every day, and it's easy to lose track of what is known. So we asked Mark Strassman to pull together all the evidence on both sides of the case. Police Acting Police Chief Darren Scott runs an embattled department at the center of this controversy. Why George Zimmerman has yet to be charged in the shooting death of Trayvon Martin and what role race may have played. How do you convince people that the police department did not soft pedal this investigation because of race? I would like to answer the questions here, but the investigation, I would not come on at this time. Here's what we've pieced together from sources connected to the investigation. On February 26th, the night Martin was killed, investigators questioned Zimmerman for five hours at police headquarters. The police report noted Zimmerman was bleeding from the nose and the back of the head. They did not administer a drug and alcohol test or an immediate background check on Zimmerman, although they did both on Martin. The next day, detectives reenacted the shooting with Zimmerman at the scene. They also discovered he had two prior arrests, one for assaulting a cop, the other for domestic abuse. For the next two weeks, lead investigator Chris Serino, seen here on the right, pursued a manslaughter charge against Zimmerman. Police interviewed at least six witnesses, but none of them saw how the confrontation began or the shooting that ended it. Public pressure grew. On March 12th, police gave the case to state attorney Norm Wolfinger. He told them they needed more evidence to arrest Zimmerman. Lawyer Ben Crump represents the teenager's parents. Had the roles been reversed, Trayvon would have been treated differently because he was black. Absolutely. No question about that. No, for you. no for instance, to me or anybody else in America, had Trayvon been the person who pulled the trigger, he would have been arrested that day on the spot and would still be sitting in jail. Can you afford to wait until the end of this investigation to reassure people in this community that justice will be served regardless of color? It is not in the police department's hands right now, okay? I can't pass judgment on anyone right now, so we are going to allow the outcome of this investigation. Chief Scott was also asked how he planned to rebuild trust between police and Sanford's minority community. Scott, he said, it won't be easy. Mark, thanks.